Right, uh, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to Bell the UCAT, dear champions and soon to be doctors. Here we are again, trying to smash and crash another uh, subsection of the UCAT. Uh, verbal reasoning is here we come. Right, okay. Well, uh, many people find a dreadful subsection. I know it's massive demand of verbal reasoning. People have been literally. Uh, emailing, messaging, and so on about uh, why could you please do a section verbal reasoning. I'll try to give you the strategy base. This is not walkthrough. It'll just give you a quick strategy, short video. Right, okay, so verbal reasoning. What we got, you already know, they've got 40 foot questions, 11 passages. 11 passages sliced into, you know it, reading convention TFCs. True, false, can't tell. Right, okay, now starting with how do we, in the time that you've got left, clock is ticking, right? So we've got, for many people, it'd be four, five, six weeks left for the real match to begin, which is a UCAT, right? So for some of them, it might be less. Right, so how do we make the most of it? How do we pump up the grade in verbal reasoning? What's your goal? Your goal is to get anything in excess of 27 out of 44, right? Anything in excess of 27 or 44, you've done enormously well. Yes, anything in excess of 27 out of 44, that gives you anything which is 680 plus, right? Depends on majority of students are uh, lingering somewhere in the late 500s to the early 600s, right? There's a different strategy altogether uh, that will push your grade to 700 plus, right? Uh, okay, now here we go. So what's your goal? Goal is this. Next, uh, before you go ahead any further, you need to know your strength. How do I know your strength? Of course, you should have done a minimum of uh, 100 or 200 questions uh, each of uh, RC or TFC. True, false, can't tell. Right, so depending on that, you need to figure out which is your strength. Right, next. So let's suppose overall what is should be, you should be good at. Right, one more time, repeatedly, I cannot stop saying that. Many people on I see on YouTube or any other things and so on, they all medify, med entry, they use the word scanning. I can repeatedly say to you, scanning is uh, cannot be used for any and every type of question. Right? Uh, right. So first thing is your reading. Next. Are you and what's your weakness? The so strength is out of first thing you need to figure out out of RC uh, and TFC. Which is your strength? How do you figure out your strengths? Every time you sit down, you do a bunch of questions, 20 questions of uh, TFCs, 20 questions, and so whichever combinations. Do it consistently over a period of time, maybe two or three days. That's how you figure out how many of them, what percentage of them am I getting it right? right? If you are getting consistently high percentage, anything above 70%, it becomes your strength. Majority of the students should have, no matter what, TFC, please make it your strength, right? So TFCs will contain 16 questions from TFCs is what we will get. And uh, the remainder of the 28 questions uh, will be from RC, right? So figure out TFC, no matter what, should be a strength. Next, uh, what's the weaknesses? Weakness, many people have, they don't know how, they're, re they're reading it, the passage the wrong way. You don't read the passage, depending on the type of passage. You read the passage in a different way altogether. That's your weakness. Are you still rereading the question? Are you still rereading the options? No, that's another problem. So let's suppose there are four options that are there now. You should use always, depending on the type of question, which is, I'm talking about now, conclusion-based question. I'm talking about a, which of the following the author is most likely to agree, which of the fo uh, following, uh, which of the following are true. Right? Which of the following, all the following are correct, except, now, for that you use, don't look for the right answer, use the look for the elimination strategy. Which one is wrong? Let's suppose this option A, you've got, oh no, it's wrong. You prove, you convinced that A is out. That means once you agreed to some extent B is out, you click on B now, right? That means you've eliminated A convincingly. Then you move on to C, uh, not sure about that. Next. Then you've eliminated D. Now your option comes down to between B and C, right? Using elimination strategy for conclusion based question, number one. And since we people are obsessed about scanning the keywords, buddy, scanning, you know it, scanning will not work for conclusion based question. Majority of the questions reading comprehensions, if you've done Medify or the UCAT, you will see most of them are coming from conclusion based. What are the following can be concluded from the passage? Which of the following the author is most likely to agree? Blah, 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 blah. All the following are correct, except all which of the following is wrong, right? So I cannot be using the scanning technique. For that, we have different strategies of how to do it. If you're part of my course, you would know which one I talk about. Right, so number one. So the biggest problem is people they end up read, reading the passage maybe twice, uh, they, oh, sorry, maybe three times, four times, because you are so uh, adamant to stick to the scanning technique, it does not work always. Scanning will only work for a handful of style of question. Every style of question has a different strategy. If you've seen any of my videos, do not use, there are plenty of shortcuts. Next. Now, you have to have a strategy, as I said to you, right? You need to have strategy, and also I'll come back to strategy in a bit. Let me quickly talk about time management now. 
out of the 22 minutes which are given to you, right, if, let's suppose, out of the 22 minutes which are given to you, you will have to manage the time. Because you are attempting to do 44 questions, right? Just that you know, you don't necessarily need to do all the 11 passages. You don't necessarily need to do all the 11 passages. You don't necessarily need to do all the 44 questions. It's impossible. It is impossible. But you should be able to use your ability to skip, attempt, and sad. You should have the ability to skip, attempt, or dump a question, right? Now, no matter what you do, time, TFC question, you need to do all of them. This is what I talk about, deplete first. Let's suppose uh, you start the UCAT, verbal reasoning splashes on your screen right away. What are you going to do now? This is a strategy, depends on what type of learner you are. Uh, what is your strength? In here, I'm assuming TFC is your strength. If TFC is your strength, what would you do? As soon as you start the, UK, uh, start the verbal reasoning section, hit next 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 till the time you end up hitting the getting to the TFC question you will try to exhaust all the 16 questions of TFCs now what will happen is I'm assuming your accuracy stays 80% if your accuracy says 18% 14 out of 16 is what you've got so what would you do now one more time you are not attempting reading comprehension again as I say to you you will do it in waves again the first wave being all TFCs you will attempt and this I'm assuming TFC is your strength then I'll talk about later uh, what if our reading comprehension is strength if TFC is strength what are you gonna do right verbal reasoning uh, section starts right next 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 TFC question attempted there and then next uh, what's the biggest part you don't invest too much of time in the TFC right why because you don't need to read the options Unlike reading comprehension, you have to go through all the options uh, where the question comes in, uh, what do you say, what conclusions, blah, 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 blah. You have to go through all the options. That's wasted of time, sucks up more of your time. TFCs, you already know, answer will be true, false, can't tell. You just need to read the stem of the, you just need to read what is the question all about, righty? So everything depleted TFCs, right? So now, how do I have time management? If TFCs is your strength, I want uh, the best possible way is you attack or split your time, which is 12 minutes dedicated exclusively, 12 or 13 minutes depends on which is your strength. You have to strike a balance for you yourself to know. That means uh, out of uh, what you got, uh, 22 minutes. So you got you slice the time or uh, into 12 minutes. I will use deplete, use up actually attempt see touch smell all the tfc questions really now i've got 10 minutes left in the 10 minutes left as i said to you before uh reading comprehension uh passages that we've got uh in here i use the word the choice of passage uh, there are multiple types of passages that are there right so the first one could be historical passage if you're a history student you've got background of history and a fascination of history you attempt this if you're a scientific uh, if you're a science science student hopefully you are because you're aiming for medicine so biology chemistry uh language is used you will attempt choice of passage so in the 10 minutes it comes down to what choice of passage will i choose in this 10 minutes so you're if depending so historical passage scientific passage editorial passage if you're a science student attempt attack scientific passage editorial attempt this one next uh, every passage that you attempt you'll read the first paragraph and the last paragraph before you decide if am i going to skip attempt or dump the question right if I'm going to skip it attempt it or dump it by the way just that you know ignore the skip part here for TFC uh, for a uh, reading uh, for verbal reasoning you just have to make a decision should I attempt it should I dump it so you need to invest just like we say to you when you invest your time when you invest your money you expect a good return on your money you, you're not investing money to make a loss am I correct right so investment in life attending any of the courses and so on could we build a UCAT course that's an investment for your future right so investment is what it takes so if you invest the money am I gonna get what return am I expecting right similarly when you in UCAT you are investing time like in life and business time is money in UCAT time is marks I always say that so right investment so how do I know is the right investment have you chosen the right passage have you chosen the historical passage have you chosen the scientific passage have you chosen the editorial passage what type of passage have you chosen there are some other which is finance uh, passage technology uh, technology uh, tech passage right language is easy anything to do with scientific passage you should straight away dump uh, straight away dump historical passage because in the 10 minutes you have 
your aim should be attack four passages. Four passages means 16 questions. Yes, it is doable, buddy. Uh, there are lots and lots of shortcuts. This is what I talk about in this one here. So there are immense amount of shortcuts. You should know what are the shortcuts. So altogether, so four passages is 16 questions is what you've attempted. If we give you a gain altogether, uh, 16 questions attempted, let's suppose we give you uh, altogether how much? 70% uh, accuracy, yeah, we're just giving you 70% accuracy, you might end up getting 12. Oh, if I end up getting uh, 12 right, so what do I have? Uh, 10 or 12 right. So if I've got 10 or 12 right, okay, let's give you 11 right, right? If I give you 11 right, so out of 16 questions which you attempted, you've got 11 right. Oh, I've got 11 right here, and I've got 14 right here. You are, you actually ended up hitting very near to the target score. You keep trying these combinations. So this is essentially how it is. Reading wise, so one more time, reading wise is what it takes. How do you read the passage? right you should not read the passage more than twice absolutely more than twice please for actually i will emphasize scanning will not always work scanning only works for a select few styles of questions watch any of my previous videos or look at my if you're part of my UCAT course you don't need to uh, but again as i said to you every type of question has a different strategy next so need to figure out now it comes down to reading comprehension if reading comprehension is a strength, buddy, uh, wow, you hats off to you. So reading comprehension, once you've got reading comprehension, then you need to figure out what are the styles of questions, the definition questions. I try, I made a different video on this. Uh, hopefully you might have watched this. So reading comprehension, again, conclusion-based question, use the elimination strategy. You should not be rereading the question right so some people will say i read the question and attempt the passage absolutely not does not always work does not always work that means you're actually reading for every question there are four questions that means for every question which you're reading for every question you read you go, go ahead scan the pass you're actually literally scanning the passage three times buddy three times that is an absolute utter waste of time so one more time the key part here is time management how do you what is your strategy uh, because there are shortcuts. Strategy is literally shortcuts. One of the key things I can tell you is in the strategy wise, number one, what type of passage do you choose? You don't necessarily need to attempt all the 11 passages. You just attempt, uh, do all of the R TFC, true, false, can't tell, deplete it all, use all of them, then go to the RC questions. Right guys, hopefully having fun. Enjoying the UCAT and wishing you all the very best. Time's ticking now. Last few weeks left. Give it an immense push. Feel free to drop any questions on anything of that sort. Uh, right, guys. Ciao, ciao. Bye for now. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.